this next video I'm going to be showing you both the cross stitch and the double cross stitch. I've created a situation here that would be similar to that needed of a cross stitch. Let's say that this is the inside of the garment material. I'm making a coat and this is the canvas that's been basted on with the white canvassing thread as you can see. And then let's say this yellow material is the white pocketing material. Let's say that this is two layers of pockets and the edge is left raw. The reason why the edge is left raw is because we don't want thickness. We want to keep it as evenly transitioning between these different layers as possible so that way it doesn't show up on the outside of the garment. Let's look at the outside real quick. You can see that the diagonal basting stitches that I've created are plainly visible and you can see that I've pinned through all the way all the different layers of the fabric to keep it together while I start this out. For this stitch I'm going to be using the middle sized number 7 needle and some silk finishing thread. This stitch in this particular situation you do not want to see on the outside of the garment. Therefore when I make the stitch I'm only going to be passing through the pocketing material and the canvas. This will be left untouched as much as possible. Unlike other stitches that go from right to left, this stitch goes from left to right. However, my needle will still be pointing to the left. Back and to the left. Let's start out the stitch by tacking off on the canvas. Next directly underneath about a fourth of an inch away, pass through both the pocketing and the canvas material. And we're tacked off completely on both sides. If you notice, this linen material is already starting to fray. You can see it right there at the very edge. This is what this stitch is going to prevent. The next part of the stitch, I'm going to move forward about 3 eighths of an inch as near to the edge of the pocketing material as possible. Pull through and as you can see we now have a very large piece of diagonal thread that's showing here. This is why you don't want to see this stitch on the outside. Next we're going to move another 3 eighths of an inch forward through both the pocketing and the canvas again. Go back about an eighth of an inch. Pull through. And you have the next stitch. As you can see a herringbone pattern is starting to emerge. I'm actually going to put the pin over here because it's flopping around. And there, there's a series of cross stitches. Now I'm going to transition to a double cross stitch. The difference in these two stitches is that one cross crosses the other cross in succession over and over again. As I enter the needle I go back to the middle of the other cross. And as you can see, we now have a series of double cross stitches that have begun here. This is used for when you really need to have a lot of support and strength. The areas that you most commonly find the double stitch are at the very edge of the collar where the top collar flaps over onto itself, hidden underneath the rest of the collar. So there we have it, both the cross stitch and the double cross stitch.